Sally was out helping her mother take down the wash, and she was the first one to see it. Bob was cutting the grass when he saw it. And Peter had just finished feeding his dog. What did they see? The carnival's coming to town in trucks as big as can be. It comes but once a year, and oh, it's something to see. It's something Sally wants to see, all right. Bob wants to see it, too. Peter isn't going to be left out of the fun, either. And neither are we. For here we are at the carnival grounds on the edge of town, just as the big trucks come rolling in. This is where the carnival is going to be. This is the foreman. He's the boss of the men who will set up the carnival. But he's looking for something, and he's worried. You see, another truck should be here, a very special truck. Unless that truck gets here, well, there just won't be any carnival tonight. Now Sally and Bob and Peter are here, and they want to watch. Yes, it's all right, provided they stand over here, where they'll be out of the way and safe. All right, says the foreman, let's go to work. That special truck is still missing, but they can go ahead and unload the trucks. It hardly seems possible, does it? The whole carnival comes out of trucks. This man is starting to set up one of the rides. Could you possibly guess what ride it's going to be? Here comes another part for it, out of a truck. They look like the spokes of a big wheel. But, well, what do you think? We'll see that again later. Right now, our friends are watching some men fastening something to a long pole. That is a wheel, a wheel turning on a pole. What can this be? Now, when the foreman gives the signal, all the men pull on the rope to raise the pole. Pulling together like this is the way to get a big job done, isn't it? And this is a big job, raising the pole so the wheel will be up in the air. When the ride is ready, the wheel will go round and round. Now do you think you know what it is? These heavy braces will hold it up. We'll look at this again later. Right now, Peter is thinking about something else. He's thinking how strong the men are and how much hard work they have to do before we can enjoy a carnival. What are they raising this time? Up, up, says the foreman. And up go the two towers, standing close together. Is this going to be another ride? More children are joining us to watch. Everybody likes a carnival. But now look at that big wheel we saw lying on the ground. There's a track on it with platforms that will travel around it. It's called a tilt-a-whirl. Here's that tall pole with a wheel on it. It's the merry-go-round. And here's the floor. Did you ever think that a merry-go-round had so many different parts? Those two towers we saw, why, they're for the Ferris wheel, the tallest thing in a carnival. But will there be a carnival? The foreman is out at the road looking for something. The children there don't know about it. But if that missing truck doesn't come, the carnival can't open. That would make Peter very sad. But there's still time for that other truck to come, and there's still work to be done. Watch how quickly the men work, fastening a seat to the Ferris wheel. There. 
Now they turn the wheel to the place for the next seat. The children will all want to ride on the Ferris wheel. Here come the merry-go-round horses. It's fun to ride them. And you know, it's fun to draw pictures of them because you can draw whatever kinds of horses you like. Now the canvas top goes on the merry-go-round. Over there at the tilt-a-whirl, the funny seats with the high backs are being placed on the platforms where they can turn about as they go up and down around the track. The tilt-a-whirl is ready to go. But the men are leaving it. Why don't they turn it on? Try it out. The merry-go-round is finished. Why is it dark and still? The Ferris wheel is ready too. But why aren't the lights turned on? It's all because that special truck hasn't come. Will it get here in time? Peter is wondering about all this too. Is the carnival nearly ready to open? Not yet, says the foreman. But the work goes on. Up go the canvas stands for the refreshments and the games, the fish pond and darts, throwing baseballs and tossing rings. These things are part of a carnival too. But now the children have to know that there may not be a carnival. Everything depends on that missing truck. Do you know why? Do you know what kind of truck we're waiting for? Here are prizes for the games. Animals to stretch and shove. Dolls for girls all ages. Toys most any child would love. And parakeets in cages. If only the truck would come. If only... Look, is that the truck we're waiting for? Yes, that's it. The truck from the electric light company. It takes electricity to light the lights of the carnival and to run many of the motors. Here are the wires that will carry electricity to all the rides and stands. Do you know what this man is going to do? Of course you do. Now the wires are connected and everything's ready. The lights on the merry-go-round go on. Hurrah! It's going! And listen, music is part of a carnival, too. The tilt-a-whirl is starting. Around and around go the cars, tilting and whirling. What about the lights on the Ferris wheel? Yes, they work. Everything works. There will be a carnival tonight for the children to enjoy. And now Sally and Bob and Peter are going to have the very first ride on the Ferris wheel. Have you ever had a ride on a Ferris wheel? Could you tell about it? About how it feels to go up, up in the air? And about what you see? What else could you tell about a carnival that came to your town? Oh, the carnivals come to town. It's bright and gay as can be. It comes but once a year, and oh, it's something to see. <laughs> <laughs>